Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about my favorite bags in 2021. It's going to be a longer video, I believe, because I do have a lot of bags that I want to share with you. So, the reason I want to share this bag because maybe because of their quality, their material, the design, or I simply love using them a lot. So it's going to be a longer video. If you are interested in seeing this wide range of different bags that I like, grab a popcorn or a snack and let's start. So this is probably the cheapest bag I'm sharing from today's list. This is a bag that I found at TJ Maxx. It's probably, it was probably $20, I believe. It was made from shipping envelope material. This waterproof cup, not that the paper that you cannot tear, is actually really durable for a $20 bag. And even though the handle, they are probably faux leather, but I use it so many times and, and I was really rough with it because it's, it was only $20, right? Somehow the handle still held up. So I guess not all faux leather breaks easily. Yeah, I like the the design. The design of it, it just reminded me of how I, maybe I should consider buy less because it say be kind to our planet. So I will try to use it more when I go shopping. So that if I bought any stuff, you know, I don't use plastic bag, I could use this instead. And I don't have to worry that it gets dirty because the design of it is kind of looking rough to start with. It's quite durable as you can see, even though it's a $20 bag, it has these rivets that hold on to the handles. It doesn't have any branding on the bag. Couldn't quite find any. I think this is their logo. I don't remember which company was it, but if you see this, I would recommend it. Use it for your shopping bag. I think we all need a affordable bag for doing our errands and shopping. So this is one of the cheapest bag on today's list. Next, I want to share some of the cotton canvas bag I bought. This, for the first one, this is the dust bag. Not sure if you can see the, the label. It says Ichijawa Sinjaburo Hanfu. It's a bag company from Kyoto, Japan. This is just the, the dust bag. And this is the bag. It's a company that handmade canvas bags. I think they probably have at least maybe around 100 year old history or something. They have a long history of making handmade cotton canvas bag. And they use really, really good material like this kind of metal hardware, metal zipper and the bag has fit as well also has a cross body strap it's a it's a very durable cotton canvas bag and for bag like that it it meant to be used i have seen some of their bag after being used for 15 20 years and it does has it's going to develop wear and test it's a cotton after all but it should be quite durable and the more you use this bag the, it just it's like wine or like leather you know it developed that kind of aging beautiful style that you can only find from older cotton canvas bag this bag is great because it has a turn lock pocket outside and then a big compartment slip pocket at the back with a button closure 
And then if you worry about people stealing your stuff, you have a zip, main zipper compartment that you don't have to worry about people getting into your bag. And inside the bag, it also has a zipper pocket. You know, a lot of times, bag company use cheaper, like lower quality zipper inside the bag for the pockets. But as you can see here, it is still, they still use the metal zipper, YKK zipper for the pockets inside. They are not trying to cut any corner at all. It used to be you, you could only get this bag if you visit their store in Kyoto. But I think because of pandemic, they started to open up their order online orders for overseas customers. So when I, when I discovered it, I immediately bought a couple of stuff from them. I still love this bag and now I'm going, going through stuff today. It just reminded me how much I still love this bag and I want to take this bag out again soon. I just love how saturated this kind of blue purple color on this bag. Since we are talking about cotton canvas bag, I'd like to quickly also mention this denim tote bag from Levi's. It's, a, it's also very affordable. I don't know if they are still selling this or not, but I would say it's a kind of a great easy bag to carry, everyday bag. It's, it's huge and you can carry a lot of stuff you want and easily just sling over your shoulder just like your jeans it, it would pretty much match up with any outfit you are wearing the next i have this tote bag from patagonia i have been using this quite a bit it's a cotton canvas tote that has this really thick material the fabric itself is the thickest i'm sure if somebody tried to attack me on the street I could just hold, hold this up to, to protect myself. That's, that's how thick this, this cotton canvas is. I love it and they probably coated the canvas because as you can see, it didn't really get dirty even though I have used it multiple times. I love that it has this zipper closure and also inside it has a zipper pocket. And on the front, it has this big, big slot, big slip pocket that you can use to put your phone or something. So, I just really like to quickly share this cotton canvas bag. It has been one of my favorite bag of the year, and but unfortunately, I don't think they are selling this on their website anymore. So, if you you may have to look up eBay or some reseller website to look for this bag. If this is something you are interested in, definitely de extremely durable with the material they use. Too bad they don't make it anymore. If Patagonia is watching this video, I hope they make more canvas tote using this material. Since we talk about cotton canvas bag, I'd like to quickly mention this one from Fusion, Fusion that I Unbox lately is such a great size tote and I love that they use vibrant color on this zipper zipper tote they have. It's a simple tote with with big compartment inside, durable zipper and big slip pocket front, back and side. So I have Publish an unboxing video, you can go take a look if you like. In terms of my favorite travel bag, this is the bag that I recently got from Coach. It's, I believe it's called Coach Academy Day Bag. I have unboxed this bag and talked quite, quite details about this bag. So if you want to know more about this bag, go check out that video. It's a great bag and it's a great bag for travel and it's coached so you know the quality is usually pretty good so go check out the video. Before I got the Coach Academy Day bag for travel, 
I have been using this Longchamps, Longchamps bag for travel for quite a while. I don't remember specific model of this bag, but they all look quite similar. To be honest, this is their signature style with the button closure flap. I'm sure you could find a lot of review on online and it, this one comes with a cross body strap. I really like to use it for travel because when I travel I use a backpack and I can use this as cross body so that I still have my hand to carry stuff if I need to, like a coffee or a drink or something. Before I bought it, I wasn't sure about this style, but somehow I just fell in love with this bag and use it a lot for travel. It's, it's kind of one of those bags that when you, you look at other people's video, you're wondering why they love it so much. And when you, when you try, you realize that, wow, it's really useful. Like, it's carefree. And I think this is a, some kind of material, the coated material. So it's, I, I drip water on it and it didn't stain. So it's kind of a carefree bag that's great for travel. Since we are talking about traveling, this is uh, my favorite backpack that I bought from 2021. This is from Pack Animal. It's either the material is either coated canvas or or twill probably. It's very durable with with this strap, comfort very comfortable, and it does have the chest strap. If you carry heavy stuff, it will ease up your shoulder strength. So, strength. And usually, I, I, I'm not sure about the, the roll up bag because I, I feel like it would be a lot of trouble to get things in and out. But somehow, this one is quite easy with this start closure. You just pull it through and you can easily push it close. And then even inside the bag is, I believe they use like water resistant material or something. So if you, if you use this bag and it was raining, you don't have to worry at all. Also, sometimes when you travel, this already, already roll up nicely and you don't want to do all the, going through all the hassle to open it up. It has a, I believe this side. It has a side zipper that you can access the main compartment. So it's really convenient. The, on the only thing I wish it has more is one more side pocket and maybe bigger. Sometimes when I travel, I use a bigger water bottle and it it's a little bit hard to stuff inside the side pocket here. But overall, this has been durable and I have been using it for my travel. So. My favorite backpack from 2021. For my favorite small bags, I only have one to share today. This is my absolutely favorite small bag. This is a bag from Tumi. I believe it's called their Voyager something. It's hard to remember the, all the names, but this bag looks small, but it can carry a lot of stuff. I was really in shock. And you see how tiny it is, but I, w I was able to carry my Fuz Fuji X100V camera. So, and it has a back, back slip pocket with magnetic closure. Zipper pocket on the front. And main compartment also has a metal zipper and inside it has this uh, zipper pocket as well. And then also come with this little cute key fob. I have been really enjoying using this design on my bags lately. I love when the bag have these key fob things. It's just easy to when you transfer your keys from bag to bag and you don't have to worry about losing them. It's easy to find. So when when I go out to run errands or going out to lunch with friends. I often bring this bag because it's small, it's lightweight, and it can carry a lot of stuff. So for a small bag, you can consider getting one from Tumi. They are 
it's more durable and the only the only thing not so amazing is their price usually could be quite high I mean even for a small bag I think they could be over hundred dollars but it's totally worth it it's they have high quality bag and you can, as you can see even small bag has this metal fit at the bottom now I want to talk about my favorite leather bag in terms of leather quality I like how Portland leather goods give you something high quality but also not too heavy even this is a their oversized their biggest bag but it's not that heavy I have used it on my trip before and because it's a pebble leather when you get scarf you could just rub it off I have rubbed off rub off most of the scarf coming back from my trips and even when I drip accidentally drip water on it it dry out fine and I, it's pretty much carefree and I love also this one this one is their their full size cross body bag also in pebble leather if you want to try if you want to try the leather bag from Portland Leather Good and if you like pebble leather I would suggest just get their pebble leather because it's, it's soft and it smells great I have I have the, the one in grey but it doesn't really have the the nice smell of leather so I I would definitely prefer pebble leather from Portland Leather Goods it ha I have this bag for months now and it still have this nice leather fragrance and it also have this kind of a special feature sometimes when I feel stressed I like to hug my bag I don't know it's just so soft and huggable when with this nice fragrance of natural leather it just it made me feel it giving me comfort to be honest I know that sounds weird right <laughs> but yeah I think we all can use some bag that kind of give you comfort right so this is kind of one of my favorite leather from my 2021 purchase so when talk about favorite leather I don't think I can skip this one this one is from Dooney and Burr I believe this one was from the uh, Tuscana executive line not sure if you can see the leather in this on this bag is just so gorgeous and you can see the text is still here because I'll be honest I'm afraid to take this one out I may have to spray them but I'm too busy too lazy so I haven't got opportunity to take this out yet but every time I look at this bag I'm amazed by the, the leather the color is just gorgeous absolutely beautiful bag and it's a good size bag for daily use if for your work and it has this top handle crossbody strap to hook onto this D-ring and the handle also flap down nicely not get in your way so in terms of leather this is definitely one of my favorite of the year I can't get enough how beautiful it is by looking at it just amazing leather from Dooney and Burr. In terms of large bag, this is absolutely my favorite. This one is from Telfar and is their collaboration with Moose Knuckles. It made with lambskin leather and is their largest size of their shopping bag. The feel of it is just different. It looks it looks luxurious and it feels great with the very soft lambskin leather. I just love how it looks and the pattern is subtle and also unique at the same time. Other than top handle, you get this shoulder strap or you can use it as a crossbody as well. So in terms of huge bag, 
I would say this is definitely one and only my favorite from 2021. Since we are talking about Telfar bag, I thought I would bring this up as well. This is their regular Telfar shopping bag in medium, medium size. This bag is made from faux leather. In terms of, in terms of quality, it's kind of hit and miss with Telfar sometimes. But so far, this navy color, I don't have much problem with it. This is a bag that I didn't expect to like it before I bought it, but I think Telfar's bag is really, it really grows on you. Like once you have it, you start using it, you just tend to grab it every time you, you go out of the house because it's just so, I don't know, the design, something about the design is so convenient. Like the handle is really comfortable and the strap, I like how the strap drapes when you are not using it. And when you use it, you can use it as quick sling on your shoulder and crossbody if you taking a long walk or something. So would I recommend Telfast shopping bag? I would, but I just want you to be aware that since it was made from faux leather, it may not last as long as full grain leather, for example. But in terms of using it, I absolutely love using Telfar shopping bag and I definitely considering getting a, a large one but I'm not sure I have much use for a large size. Maybe I should stick to the medium. Let me know what you think. Here I have my favorite messenger bag from 2021. To be honest, I, I didn't buy too many messengers bag because usually I, I'm not really too into messenger bag style unless it has this for example this one is it has this classy kind of a vintage mailman mail bag kind of look this this company is called Krava is a, it's a company from Indonesia I believe great customer service and they ship their bag all the way from Indonesia to US I would say within a week so the shipping is pretty fast and the leather quality is incredible it is beautiful I mean look at this bag and the crossbody strap since they don't use a lot of metal it doesn't make noise when you move around as you can see doesn't have this metal clunking sound and inside the bag as you can see you don't it has this start closure but you don't have to close it if if you are frequently open and close your bag you can slip it slide it through the loop and it stay in place pretty well and inside the bag look at how gorgeous this this lining is this durable fabric lining in I would say, I don't know how to call this red, cardinal red, it's just beautiful red color. And I have used it and caught in the rain a little bit, a couple times. I don't see any mark or stains on this leather. I believe they made this bag using full grain leather, so it will be durable and last for a long time. I know buying bag from Indonesia, could sound a little bit unusual but if you are if you are like me you really like good quality leather you you could consider looking for a company that's maybe not world famous like LV or something but company that's worth worth for to spend your money in this is a messenger bag from Krava that I highly recommend and I absolutely love this bag Next, I'm going to share a few of my favorite from the contemporary brands or from luxury brands. This one is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. It's their, I, I would, I wanted to say their bigger size, but I noticed that they are coming out with another even bigger size tote bag. 
I believe next year in January if you check Saks Fifth Avenue website they call it the XL so this one is the large size I love this bag because it is in this denim fabric and with this patch patchwork design is really unique and kind of timeless at the same time and this bag can carry a lot of stuff if you if you like if you like me like to carry the whole kitchen sink out of the house so and as you can see it has this zipper closure to keep your things secure i have done unboxing and and review on this before so you can check out that video to to get more information i'll i'll link it somewhere when i did my video about my worst purchases in 2021 i included the road 39 in that video because of the size and because how how the leather slouch in that kind of big size bag today i like to kind of change the tone a little bit and include this row 25 from coach because it's a smaller size the leather seems to stay in shape much better it has good structure and this one specifically from their basquiat collection as you can see it has this gorgeous artwork from the artist also their newer rope usually come with this cross body straps that provide more option for you to carry the bag the bigger bigger and older rope like the 39 it only came with the shoulder strap so i definitely much prefer their bag that came with this cross body strap this is this is a little bit small for me i would for the design, I would prefer to have a bigger, maybe 30. I think 30 could be a good balance for coach rock bag. So maybe for 2022, my goal is to get a rope 30. If you have a rope 30, let me know if your bag stay pretty structured or it's going to just get out of shape fast. Let me know. Thanks. So this is the last bag. I'd like to share with you today. This is from Louis Vuitton on the go. This is their GM size, I believe. This I love this bag, not just because of how beautiful the leather and the design, also because this one is a gift from family, so it has a big sentimental value for me. And I'm sure you have seen many reviews on Louis, Louis Vuitton on the go. And if you if you're considering getting one, thinking about either canvas or leather, I would definitely recommend leather. I think the quality on the leather is definitely much better compared to the canvas version. I I truly enjoy this bag and I enjoy looking at this bag, how beautiful how beautiful it is. It reminded me how important in terms of family and relationship and since Christmas is coming out holiday season is here I like to say Merry Christmas Happy Holidays and I hope you enjoy your your time with your family with your friends even if you have to work then I hope you have a good time and enjoy your day hopefully we all get some good rest and have a better 2022. Bye.